I'm here to talk a little bit of business, and this is a bit of a controversial subject for, you know, quite a few people. Like, this is something that I get, you know, a lot of controversy about all the time. Um, I get told I'm fake because of this. I get told that I'm not, you know, a real artist because of this. And now I'll ultimately never get anywhere with doing things how I'm doing. But I'm going to share with every single one of you right now the strategy that I use to get to where I'm at. And this is something, this is legit, I am not making this up. This is something I utilize daily. And so if you're a new and up and coming music artist and like you're wondering how to make it in music, let me tell you, this is just straight experience here. This is not a business gimmick. This isn't. You know, me pulling some, you know, bullshit on you guys. This is straight, real talk from somebody who does the same shit every day. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. You know, you probably, I know a lot of music artists out there are going to be pissed at me for this, but I don't give a shit. I really don't care. You know, I'm helping out those who need it. You don't need money to make it in the music business. And this is something I learned very recently on how to do it. Because if you guys don't know, I've been doing music since 2010. Yes, I've been doing music since I was 20. Hold on, one minute. Sorry, that had a 1-800 number calling. But, yes, I have been doing music since I was 20 years old. And that's something that not a lot of music artists and businesses ultimately want revealed. But you know what? I'm going to reveal it. Because you up-and-coming music artists that are wondering what to do, I'm going to help you so that you don't run into the same situations that I ran into for years. And this is literally a how-to guide for how to make it successfully in the music industry. And a lot of people don't think about doing this. One, if you don't have a name yet, like a stage name, get one. And now what you want to do is as soon as you get your stage name, as soon as you get all that figured out, you want to create a logo. Create your brand name logo. Like, I have a couple of them. I have the little Batman looking character that, you know, one of my biggest fans, Snowbell, had made for me, which I still use to this day. It's a very iconic character amongst a lot of my fans, as well as the original, you know, multi-eyed colored black haired guy with the shadow ball in his hand. And the all too iconic SB, like those are my three logos that I use. I have each of those branded under myself. Now, secondly, what you wanna do, once you get your brand, once you get your logo and your stage name figured out, you want to take, or go to free copyrights, go on the internet, look up free copyright sites. There's a ton of them out there. The one I go through that is legitimate, that gives you a certificate to prove that you are 
the legal owner of your stuff is copyrighted.com. It's a free site. You don't have to do anything. You just sign up, follow the steps, and copyright, you know, everything from your music to, you know, your branding, all that stuff. And this is something I usually do like every six months to once a year because the registry isn't, you know, it's like it is permanent like forever, but I like to do it multiple times, you know, a year just to keep on top of it. But that's just personal preference. Second, create a YouTube channel. I know it sounds basic and, you know, obvious but creating a youtube channel is a very big outlet that is actually how myself and my little brother and best friend ian ducksworth that's how we started the record label the independent record label i should say bloodshot records we are not for profit we do not pay people to sign with us if you got talent and you feel like you got what it takes Hit one of us up. We'll talk to you, bring you on, and see where it goes from there. We'll give you a trial period and all that stuff. But like I said, starting a YouTube channel is very important. That's very important. Because your YouTube channel, that's where you're going to put a lot of your music at. Is up on YouTube for like the first few months. You know, put it out there. Upload daily, every day, once a day. You know, just upload there as much as you can. Number two, create a SoundCloud. I know it's another basic thing, but SoundCloud is another good way to start out. Like, it's a very good way to get exposure. You know, it's a chance to get people to listen to your music. And another site that I will recommend that I use all the time that you do get real feedback from is a site called Number One Music. You can sign up there. It's free to use, easy to do. And the cool thing is you actually earn credit to do stuff on the site. Like you earn virtual cash on there, and that allows you to use some of the other features that might not be available to you at that time. And how you earn money is by, you know, helping promote other artists. You know, you share their stuff around on there. You know, let people know about them and you earn cash that way. And then you can then get access to features that you would normally have to pay for on every other site. And Reverb Nation is another good one. I will admit I've used Reverb Nation for years. Very good. I do, you know, recommend it. It's a good way to build your fan base. It's a good place to, you know, promote your music. I've gone through them for a while. But I don't do it that much anymore just for the simple fact that a lot of the features they offered back then, they no longer offer now. So I kind of had to, you know, step away from it. But once you have all that done, if you're good with making websites, you can do this yourself. Or if you know somebody that can build you a website, build a website for your music which I'm currently doing now. I'm re-upping mine. I'm redoing mine from the ground up because I've made a lot of changes over the years. So have somebody build you a website or if you can do it yourself, do it. Like I go through Wix.com. That's how I make my sites. It's actually simple to use, real easy. Um, you can look up tutorials on how to build it, like how to do your site stuff like that but definitely do that just in case like you definitely want to have a website on hand and that way in case somebody wants to go to your website buy some merchandise you know they can be like hey you know this guy's here at this site um there is that you definitely want to build yourself a website that is key to getting your music out there and, you know, really promoting yourself. Well, it's not really, really about getting out there and promotion. Like, that's, like, where all your stuff's going to be. That's where your fan base can find your work. 
And once you do all that, this is a uh, this is an app that you can download it free if you have an Android or an iOS device. Look up Amuse. Amuse is a free app to download. They're they're basically a digital record label. They doesn't cost anything. And what you're going to do is you're going to do like what I did. Like if you guys go on to Amazon, Spotify, or wherever you guys buy your music from, don't matter if it's Google Play, iTunes, Napster, wherever. If you guys go on there and look up Shadow Blade, I Am A Monster. That is my first hit single off my new album, Blackout, which is dropping here on the 6th. But what Amuse does is you upload your music and your cover art. And what they'll do is they'll review it. And when they review it, they will let you, they, you will then have your music being put in every store, every, you know, platform such as Android, iOS, so definitely go through them. I just found out about them recently, and it's mostly because of them that I am now becoming, you know, successful from the ground up. I am now able to put my music out there in stores. So guys, don't fall for, you know, stuff like, you know, CD Baby or this and that. You want to go through Amus. But one thing I will add, you cannot upload remixes. I've tried and it doesn't work. So if you're going to do remixes, save that stuff for YouTube and upload your original stuff to Amuse. Release it through there. They're really great. The only downside is that you do have to wait six weeks to six months after the initial month release of your album. Like you do have to wait to get the money that long. I know it sucks, but I highly recommend it. It's a good start. It gives you a chance to really put your music out there. Like, it really gives you a chance to, you know, gain that exposure that you wouldn't gain from other sites. And if you do, you probably have to pay for it. So definitely hit up Amuse. That's A-M-U-S-E. And it's actually co-founded by Black Eyed Peas' Well I Am. Um, He's one of the co-founders of it. It's really good. Um, That's what I'm going through. So thank you to Amuse. I fucking love that app. Um, And they also do distribute to Spotify as well. You guys can find my music everywhere. Like you literally type in anywhere and you will find my music. Just type in Shadow Blade, I Am A Monster, or when my album drops on the 6th of this next month, all you got to do is type in Shadow Blade Blackout, and it'll be on there. But guys, don't fall for this shit. And also, if you are looking for a way to record... Go to Soundtrap.com. It's free to sign up. Um, You do get one month free premium membership when you sign up. So if I were you, I would utilize that to the fullest. You know, really utilize, you know, Soundtrap with that premium membership. And you can record on there even after the membership's done. You know, you can still record and do what you got to do which I really like that about that. Um, Their audio output is very, very high quality. Uh, Another one I would recommend is BandLab. If you're more into like the technical side of things and making beats and then putting your stuff to that, um, I would recommend BandLab for that personally. That's just personal preference. Like everybody uses different stuff. Like when I had a regular PC, I was using... You know, everything from FL Studios 12 Producer Edition. I was using um, um, Audacity. 
<clears throat> Sorry, I kind of slipped my mind there for a minute. I was using stuff like Audacity and just all these different programs. So, guys, if I were you, I would definitely get my hands on freaking Soundtrap and BandLab ASAP. It's really good. And it does, and the cool thing about Soundtrap is it does support mobile device. They do allow for mobile use, and I believe BandLab does too, but I'm not for sure on that. I haven't tried. But with Soundtrap, you can record your audio on your mobile device like if you're out and about. You can record offline with the app. You can sit there, quickly record, and then whenever you get back home or wherever you need to be or wherever your PC is, you can then take, log in on your computer in the Soundtrap on your account and pick back up. So I definitely recommend it. I do it all the time. Like if I'm out and about and I don't have my Chromebook on hand, I'll usually take my Kindle Fire with me, record my audio. And then when I get back home, I'll take it, I'll pick back up on it. But guys, it doesn't take any money at all to record and make a living off of music. You can do it free just by using the simple stuff that I use daily. And I know a lot of music companies and a lot of artists are going to hate me for this, but, you know, it's true. You can make a living without spending money. You can make a living on music without spending a single dime. And if you're a rapper and you're looking to, you know, make beats, go to looplabs.com or Audio Tool, or you can find a number of beat creation sites like I go through. That's how I do a lot of my music because I don't have a PC, so I have to go through that. I don't have FL Studios. They didn't make it for, you know, the mobile device, so it's really hard to do through FL Studios as much as I would love to. I can't do that due to the fact that I am on a Chromebook. It is not PC based. It is an Android device and laptop, both in one, but I cannot do PC based stuff. Like I can get on the internet and everything else just like you would a normal, you know, computer, but I can't do PC based programs. So I have to go through these sites to make my music. So guys, I am proof that you don't need any money to make music and make a living in the music industry. You can be a very successful independent artist, you know, utilizing the sites and the programs that I just named off for you guys. And one tip and trick that I will tell you guys to do once you get all of your stuff situated and taken care of, and I cannot stress this enough, is promotion, promotion, promotion. You want to promote your stuff on all, and I mean all social media sites. I mean, and, if, and I never could get into it. I never figured out how to do it, so I don't have Snapchat. But, like, if y'all know how to promote on Snapchat, do it on there. Um, Twitter's a very big and very good outlet for promoting your music. Um, definitely hit up Instagram because you can go live on Instagram and promote on there. Um, one thing I will mention that you do need to do, too, is create a Facebook fan page. That is, like, I can't stress enough how important having a Facebook fan page is because that's where a lot of your traffic is going to come in is through your Facebook fan page. And then they'll see your music that you're posting on to your Facebook through the other sites and where your music is. And they will link that to you and be more than likely to pass it around. 
So guys, this is like you don't need money to make music. You can make it on your own in the music industry without no money. And I am living proof of that. I know people say all the time, well, oh, like you gotta, you know, spend money to make money. No, you don't. You do not have to spend money to make money in the music industry nowadays because everything's digital. Everything has gone to where you could do it for free right from your own home. And if you got the balls enough to do it, you can start up your own record label right from home from nothing. And if you guys are wondering what I use when I'm not using my mic, um, these I actually got for free for, for Christmas. They are Sage SA708 headphones. They do come with the microphone built in, so you can record your audio directly. That's how I do it. Or if you already have a microphone built into like your laptop or wherever, you can do it that way too. So guys, you don't need money to make money. That is a lie. Anybody who tells you that is lying to you. Because a lot of the biggest names out there now, they had no money. And look where they're at. They're making millions. So if you're an up-and-coming artist and you're looking to break into the music industry, just follow the simple tips and tricks that... You know, I showed you and, you know, really utilize the sites that, you know, I named off because then those sites are going to be your best friend in the long run. They're going to be the ones that are going to help you get up there. And like I said, definitely download Amuse. It's A-M-U-S-E. It's free to use. Um, for your cover art, it does need to be 1400 by 1400 So if you can do it or you know somebody that can you know, really take and, you know, basically modify your image and convert it to a 1400 by 1400 image and do that edit, that's great. And anyways, guys, this has been your boy Chance, aka Shadowblade here with a couple tips and tricks for you guys on how to get started in the music industry for free with no money whatsoever. I have not spent a dime yet doing what I do, and I've been doing this since 2010. I have not spent a single dime doing what I do. You don't need money to be successful. You just got to have the will and the drive to do what you love. You just need that drive and that passion. You need to, you know, be recording daily, doing what you got to do to really get out there. And also, another tip I will mention to you up and coming artists, hit up venues. I know it sounds simple, you know, maybe you guys are afraid to, but email, find out, you know, what local venues and music venues are around you like in your area and then hit them up and see if you can do a show. Like even if it's for free and it's a not pay and it's a, a no pay show, still do that show. Reason why that's exposure for you. That gets you out there. That gets your name, your brand that gets people listening to your music. And that ultimately builds your fan base. That will ultimately build up your fan base. Like, here on June 21st, I'm doing my first ever live show here in Akron at the Vortex at 8 p.m. So hit up venues around your area. You know, find out if you can do free shows. You know, find out if you can do any shows in your area, because that's going to be key to building your fan base is doing those shows. Even if you got to do them for free for a while, hey, that's fine. You do what you got to do. 
Hey, y'all, this has been your boy Shadow Blade here with a few tips and tricks on how you, up and coming artists, can make it in the music industry without spending a single dime, without spending any money. But if you guys did like this, share it around. Let people know, man. Let people know that you don't need money to make money. And if they ask you, you know, how it's possible, show them this live stream. Because I am proof that you don't need money to make money. That is a lie. That is a bald-faced lie that everybody in the music industry tells you. Don't listen to it. You need zero money to make it. So for all my music artists out there, man, keep rocking it. Keep doing what you do best, man. And I will see you guys later, man. Peace.